Remember, with outline questions, we need to pay very close attention to the question itself. Don't worry about the bullet points. Let's take a look at what they want. The student wants to explain how pineapple extract increased the growth rate of P. javanicus or whatever, right? So the, the, I underline the word how because it's a, it's a very convenient word. We're trying to figure out if the answer choices accomplish this goal. It's a question word, right? So we can kind of ask this question in a better way. How did the pineapple extract increase the growth rate of this plant? Well, if we can't answer that with the answer choice, it's wrong, right? We have to, ex we need the how, right? So let's take a look at the choices. Um, so how, how did pineapple extract increase the rate of the rate of the growth rate of Javanicus? Researchers in Indonesia recently found that adding pineapple extract to fish food increased the growth rate of P. Javanicus. How, how did it increase the growth rate, right? This is a trap. They're trying to get us to, to pick the first thing that looks good. But no way, this isn't answering the how. It is saying that it increased the growth rate, but I need the how. B, an enzyme in pineapple extract, bromelain, increased the growth rate of Javanicus by enhancing, okay, here, by enhancing the hydrolysis of ingested proteins, in turn affecting the fish's total food consumption. That seems like a how, right? So well, good, let's keep it in. C, according to researchers, the growth rate of P. Javanicus was affected not by food consumption, but by feed utilization efficiency? Well, okay, maybe that's kind of giving me a how, but it doesn't seem to be talking about the pineapple extract. So I feel like I need that. So this feels like it's missing a, a much more obvious part of the question, right? The, the extract needs to be mentioned. Uh, D, the enzyme bromelain enhanced P. javanicus's absorption of ingested proteins, increasing the growth rate of fish-fed pineapple extract. Okay, so the the... Uh, that seems to be doing the same thing, right? Some of the pineapple extract, it's like talking about increasing the growth rate. How did it increase it? Uh, it enhanced its absorption of proteins. So this is rare. That normally with these bullet point questions, if we just kind of focus on the question, we're done. There's one answer and, and that's that. Nothing else even comes close. If this happens though, don't panic. We have the bullet points. It probably just means we need to go back to those bullets and try to understand the facts better. It's again, it's rare, and I'm not going to change my strategy because of situations like this. I'm never going to read these bullet points, but now if they on the rare event that this happens, I still have those bullet points and I can read. So let's see what it says. Um, this thing is a fish. I thought it was a plant. Uh, researchers in Indonesia recently found that adding pineapple extract to fish food increased both the feed utilization efficiency and the growth rate. So this feels like something that came up in the trap, but let's, let's keep going. Adding the pineapple extract did not affect total food consumption. So wait, 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 what do we got here? Let's, let's do the highlight. I'm getting confused. An enzyme in pineapple extract, bromelain, increased the growth rate by enhancing the hydrolysis of ingested proteins, in turn affecting the fish's total food consumption. But this says it did not affect it. So that seems wrong. So let's keep reading. The researchers thus determined that the increased growth rate resulted from the increased feed utilization efficiency. Okay. Well, what did they say in this one? The enzyme bromelain enhanced the absorption of ingested proteins. So maybe that's it, but let's keep going. It should just say it. Um, the enzyme bromelain and pineapple extract enhances the hydrolysis of ingested proteins. Wow, they're really trying to trick us. This allows the fish to readily absorb them. Wow, absorb uh, the proteins, that's the connection. That's choice D. This is one of the hardest one of these I've ever seen. And I, I get, again, why this is a trap too. Obviously it's close, right? They, they do have a kind of how here, but it's it's not good enough because it is it is doing a little bit of a copy paste trap. It's using these complicated science words to try to lure us in and be like, oh, they're repeating the same thing. But it, it also says something that is just untrue. It is in turn affecting the fish's total food consumption. Well, it specifically says it does not do that. So this is rare, right? Again, it's rare that we get these answer choices and they are factually incorrect. And that is why normally we don't need to worry about the bullet points because they're the facts, but they're not, we're not trying to analyze the facts in the, in the choices. Usually the facts are correct and it's just about presenting those facts the way that the question wants. But if we get one of these rare exceptions, you'll know it. You'll have two answers that are left. And then you can, I would first recommend going back to the question, make sure that you didn't miss any part of the question, but I was confident I didn't. Then go to the bullet points and see, is there some discrepancy between the facts? That's probably going to be the thing that solves the question for you.